Hello it's Alex, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be the first of the Sewing Pattern Adventures series and kicking off with a review of the worker trousers from the Modern Sewer. I have decided to put the Grasser Pattern review on hold just for the time being, um, but yeah it's going to start with that one. I've also bought uh, quite possibly not just one but two of the nicest fabrics I've ever found ever so I want to show you those at the end and I've also got one that's a bit controversial I could do with some opinions on uh, but I'll do that more towards the end and before I get there I did just want to say um, thank you so much everybody after my last video I showed I've got it under here I'm back in the shed as you can see um, and it's a bit cold out here hence putting a jumper on it but under here I am wearing the Norma blouse that I showed you on my last video and I said that the you know it was a bit the fit was a bit snug around the hips and the yeah around the hip. So many people said why don't you just put side vents in and I do not know why I didn't think of that myself uh, but I think by about the video went out on Friday evening by mid morning on Saturday I've done it and it is working a treat so yeah Look, I've put side vents in just for, what's that, maybe five, six centimetres. And it's definitely much more comfortable to wear. Still got a tiny bit of the kind of pooling at the back, but yeah, only if we're being super, super fussy. Um, but more importantly, it just feels more comfortable to wear. Um, and that can make all the difference, can't it, when you're kind of choosing what to pick up in the morning. So thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> should have thought of it myself uh, but yes it is a bit cold so I'm gonna put my jumper back on I did make my jumper does that is that allowed <laughs> um, anyway let's talk about this pattern so or well, this pattern company in fact so I don't particularly uh, know them I follow them on Instagram I may have commented on some patterns uh, you know on some posts but I have no affiliation with them at all um, it's run by um, a young woman called Hetty uh, in London and reading between the lines I think that she is somebody who has turned to the home sewing world as a result of the pandemic. Um, I know she's not the only one I was thinking about um, Lindy at Stocks Patterns did that because she has a shop and it had to close during the pandemic and yeah she released some of her patterns instead or as well. And I get the feeling that that's what's happened here. So Hetty graduated from one of the London fashion schools, St Martins or London College of Fashion, one of those, set up her own clothing line, but is now releasing sewing patterns to all of us. And at the moment, she's got a sort of core range of patterns, a um, few shirts, a couple of pairs of trousers. I think there might be a jacket and an overshirt, something along those lines. Um, I know from Instagram she is about to release a dress pattern so there's obviously more and more coming through from her and I really like her aesthetic it's got that real kind of classic wardrobe staples but in a really nice um, yeah nicely constructed really kind of nice nice it's such an insipid word isn't it but yeah just a really lovely look to them and um, you know with a bit of a contemporary spin bit of a I mean these are the worker trousers probably quite a good I would have said a workery kind of vibe so I can see why they've been named that way um, but yeah definitely I'm sure she will appreciate anybody going and checking out her website um, I think it's PDFs only I can't remember go and have a look <laughs> um, but I particularly liked these trousers um, so I yeah they are that kind of shape that there's more of at the moment slight kind of barrel leg yeah open side we've got the train i'm just going to ignore it um yeah slightly oversized uh look to them but still sort of fitted across the waist and the hips and yeah i just thought they looked really really good so i've been dying to make them i was very pleased to find that I had this um, needle cord fabric in my stash. Uh, I bought it from the new craft house uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, yeah, some bargain price, I have to say, 
if I'd realised how nice it was, I might have bought more. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, it's really lovely fabric to, to work with. And I thought that in this kind of, what is it, like a tan colour, um, they would make a really nice kind of go with anything pair of trousers. So I will put them on in a sec. Uh, but just wanted to say that in regard to sizing, her si well certainly for these, and I'm going to assume it's across the range, the sizing were UK 6 to 20, so if you're in the US or possibly elsewhere in the world, uh, that's probably another couple of sizes up, so it would be something like 10 to 24, not sure, obviously check the measurements. Um, but I thought it was a you know, pretty decent size range. Um, and I liked the fact that the proportions seemed to be quite good. You know, sometimes on those size charts, uh, yeah, they seem to think everybody's got a tiny, tiny, tiny waist. Having said that, in my usual fashion, I did still, <laughs> I did still have to grade up a couple of sizes at the waist. So I was between a size 16 and an 18 at the waist, and I went for an 18, but then grade, graded down to a 14 from sort of here-ish downwards. Um, especially being that they are quite oversized I just thought I knew if I'd made an 18 overall they would just be too big it, it's just this thicker waist that I've got so um, I'm gonna go as I say I will put them on but I just want to say there are a few details that I really really like about it um, overall the instructions I think were pretty good I wouldn't say they were amazing but they were pretty good there was the odd little bit where I just found myself going oh am I supposed to be doing that on the right side or the wrong side and although there were diagrams um, sometimes you just want it confirmed in writing as well as visually uh, I'm probably being a nit bit nitpicky they, they were pretty good instructions um, but yes look I love the um, little rosy cheeks label on the back um, I just think it works really well. They come in packs of two. I bought this at the um, Stitch Fair thing in Harrogate uh, in November. So, um, yeah, I did originally think I'd use them on jeans, which I will with my other, but I just think the colour works really well. Um, so, yeah, lots of nice little details. The pockets, I used some of the leftover shirting fabric from my recent shirt. Um, that's always very satisfying, isn't it? Uh, you are instructed to do, or the instructions show you how to do the pockets using French seams, but I was very naughty and I didn't do a toile, so I didn't want to do French seams just in case I had to unpick, and same with some top stitching down the side, I didn't do that as well, uh, just because I wasn't twirling. Um, but yeah, I really like how it looks on the inside. I did choose to bind the inside edge of the waistband, that wasn't on the instructions. Um, I just like how it looks. And it's a fly front. Um, the other thing I did on the fly front was I used um, odd buttons. I mean, they're all of a family, but because they're, con you know, they're concealed, you can't see them. I thought it was quite satisfying, really, to use up uh, different, slight, slightly mismatched buttons. Um, again, hopefully my camera will focus on that. Yeah, so I just really like all that little detailing inside. It's really nice. And um, yeah, as I say, the instructions are pretty good. I think somebody who's an absolute beginner might struggle a little bit. Um, but there's nothing too concerning in this. Just a series of steps. So let me put them on and I've got reservations. So, uh, yeah, let's see if you agree. <laughs> okay, so this is them full length. I have to say that I will probably not wear them this length. I'll probably roll them up, so I'm gonna do that now, just because I'll be more comfy. So I've rolled them up, and I might even roll them up a little bit more than this, but it's just personal preference. I tend to like things just a little bit shorter. And I think if I was wearing them with trainers or anything like that, I would probably wear them more this length. Um, and I very much like how they fit. So um, I've found that they, you know, sometimes with trousers, you get sort of strange creases and wrinkles around your bottom. 
And with these, I'm not really getting any of that. They're fitting really nicely, and especially when you consider there's no dart in the back here at all, or a yoke, you know, that might have a dart hidden in it. So, I'm gonna get in trouble. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I like the fit very much. I did take about, hmm, two centimetre wedge out of the middle of the centre back seam, which I've done with pretty much every pair of trousers I've ever made, just because I have a sway back or a sticking out bottom, depending on, <laughs> depending on how you look at it. Uh, but yeah, I very much like how that's working. But for me, I, I am not convinced, and this is not to do with the pattern, this is to do with me and my own personal preferences. I feel that they, you know, for somebody with a bit of a tummy like I am, I think possibly my choice of fabric, because this cord has a, a sheen to it, um, I think it's kind of highlighting this area, which is not an area that I want highlighting, thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, I just think that I'm a bit annoyed with myself. If I'd made them out of denim or something, I think I would possibly like them a little bit more. And the truth is, I don't think that I'm going to wear them. Um, but the good news is that my daughter came for a few days last week. Well, both daughters came for a few days last week, actually. Uh, but my youngest daughter really, really liked them, and uh, she tried them on, and they fit her really well. So I told her that she can have them after I've done this, after I've done this vlog, I will um, send them off to her, and she's thrilled to bits with that. It's very strange, you know, because if you looked at her, it's so annoying, she won't let me put any pictures up of her. Um, she's 20, you know. But if you looked at the two of us, you wouldn't say we were the same shape at all. And yet when I make things for myself, they always fit her. It's, it's really bizarre. Um, anyway, so, but yes, as a pattern, I like it very much. I did um, make a bit of a, <laughs> did make a bit of an error with the buttons, I, uh, or with the buttonhole. I stupidly made the buttonhole on the wrong side, so I made the buttonhole on this bit of fabric here. Um, and worse than that, not only did I make the buttonhole, but I actually cut it. So I had to kind of stitch it up and put a bit of a, I've got a, a patch on it for the button to sit on. I'll put a picture so you can see. Um, but again, does it matter? Oh, it gives it character. Um, and I would also say that possibly as somebody with a bit of a tummy, I might, if I was keeping these, I might have a look at the positioning of my buttons. I think my buttons are slightly away from the edge and therefore you're sort of seeing that um, inside facing, which again, doesn't help visually, does it? Because it feels like it's struggling and it's splaying apart. So I would say if you're gonna make them, just, yeah, really check your button. It's not the button holes on the fly front, it's where the buttons themselves are sitting. It's not working perfectly. But again, that's me, not the pattern. So yeah, overall, it's not uh, a complete, <laughs> it's not a disaster. Uh, I'm definitely gonna make another pair and I'm gonna make them out of denim and make them more like jeans. And um, yeah, just learn from my mistakes because they are my mistakes um, in terms of that, the, the button business, button business. Um, but I would definitely, definitely recommend it as a pattern, very, very much. She does some online workshops as well. I think they're the sort that are pre-recorded rather than interactive. So if anybody's a beginner and you know really fancies trying something just a little bit more challenging, just taking themselves to the next level, it might be worth checking out some of her online workshops. But I've not taken them. I don't know what they're like. It's not something that I can speak to. I would really love to know if any of you have made any of the other patterns in her range um, and how you got on because uh, yeah I'm definitely keeping my eye on her and seeing what she brings out. Okay so I did say that I've got some really nice fabric to show you all. I think it's really nice anyway uh, but I'm just going to put my other trousers back on because I just feel a bit more comfortable in those. Okay, in changing, it's reminded me that one little niggle with the instructions was that when you put the um, waistband on, you're supposed to put the belt loops onto the waistband first before attaching the waistband onto the main 
body of the trousers and I don't really like the order of that only because when you come to top stitch the waistband you're supposed to uh, stitch up to the belt loop stop and then start again on the other side and I just found that a little bit yeah a bit irritating really so uh, to be honest what I ended up <laughs> I started off like that at the front these I've stopped and then started on the other side of the belt loop but by the time I got about halfway around I just went oh forget that and then just whizzed over the um, yeah top stitched over the belt loop so I just not convinced about that order of doing things I just perhaps would have done that differently and I will do it differently when I uh, make the denim version right so fabric so I did show one of these on Instagram because I was super excited uh, but one of these I haven't shown anybody and if uh, you followed my channel at all in the past you might have heard me mention that I absolutely adore mid-century uh, prints uh, I mean obviously mid-century fabric prints but mid-century prints in general and uh, we went to a vintage market in Macclesfield a week or so ago it's called the treacle market I think it's there once a month and we found a store and they were selling this and if this hasn't got my name on it I do not know what has I was beside myself with joy when I saw these um, she had four of them, four pieces this size, £10 each, um, which to be honest I think was very reasonable, and I bought two, and at the time I bought two because, um, you know, my husband Dave really liked it as well and said, oh, you know, you could make some cushions for the living room out of that, it would look very nice, and I went and just folded them into little squares and draped it over the sofa to see what they might look like as cushions. Of course they look fabulous because I love them. I love this print so much, everything about it. But I just found myself thinking, I don't want to make cushions. I want to make something that I can wear. So I'm a bit annoyed with myself because she had four and only bought two. Um, I have been in touch with the seller. Uh, she doesn't live too far away from me, so I thought I could perhaps pick up if she had the other two. And unfortunately she's only got one left but I am going to go and buy that. So, what I'm thinking is I could make um, something like the assembly line cuff top, because I want a pattern, obviously it can't be too heavy on fabric because there's not a huge amount of it, uh, but I definitely want a pattern that's going to showcase the design, you know, that's not too fussy. And I think that might work really well. But if any of you have got any suggestions uh, for any other patterns, please let me know because I just absolutely adore this print. This is definitely the most exciting piece of fabric I've ever bought, ever. Yeah, I love it. And um, so super, super excited to have got those. And then uh, the other thing I saw was that this is a Nanny Iro fabric. They had been sort of trailing on Instagram that they have just got a new range of fabrics out and when I saw this I just thought as soon as someone has that in the UK I have got to buy it and um, so I contacted Karen at the Draper's Daughter who sells a lot of Nanny, Nanny Iroh here in the UK and asked her to let me know as soon as she got it in. I am definitely feeling in need of replenishing some green things in my wardrobe and uh, this is just, I mean, honestly, if I designed fabric, which I may have mentioned I have a hankering to do, um, this is the kind of thing I would, I would make for me anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely had to be mine. And what I'm gonna do with it is I'm going to make the uh, Marilla Walker Bellamite, I think it's called Bellamite dress, I was looking at it and thinking it could very easily be hacked into a top and I think it would look really really nice um, so that's what I'm going to do with this and uh, I might do a little twirl first just because it's a hack and I do not want to mess this up but I am super excited <laughs> by this it's kind of like a linen-y gauzy 
can't remember what the official description was. It's definitely got linen in it. Um, and obviously it's very spring summer with this kind of colour, isn't it? I can't see me wearing something like this in the winter. Uh, but yeah, super, super excited about that. We are going away at the weekend. Uh, we're having a few days in London. I'm really excited to catch up with some friends and go to some exhibitions and no doubt buy some fabric. Uh, but there's a little bit, bit of me that's like, oh, I want to get on with making this. <laughs> okay, so now here's the radical one. And uh, yeah, certainly radical for me. It is pink. <laughs> um, do you remember I talked about using a hashtag, hashtag does this fabric exist? The idea being that we all often come up with, a, have an idea in our head of a fabric that we want to buy and you can't find it. And I thought if we uh, posted a picture or a written description of the you know, dream fabric on Instagram, then other people might have seen it, fabric shops might know about, you know, stock it, might get in touch. Well, that as a concept worked because I said at the time that I was really looking for some jersey fabric with big, chunky stripes, not the little Breton ones. And Ruan, who you may know uh, from here on YouTube, her channel is the Yorkshire Sew Girl. She was in Leeds in B&M Fabrics and she sent me some photos. And there was this version and a blue one. And uh, my daughter, my oldest daughter, was at university in Leeds. So when I was there last week, I popped in and I thought, oh, okay, blue is was too cold a blue for me and my colouring. And I was just drawn to this. I just thought, I really want to wear pink. Um, I know I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to go for more um, apricotty, orangey kind of pink, salmon, that kind of thing but aren't we allowed to break the rules sometimes so yeah I've just got a meter of it I think I can make a little t-shirt do I have to just accept that I can't wear pink with my coloring or yeah I mean I'm gonna do it I'm definitely gonna do it uh, but I really wanted to show you because it basically goes against all my rules uh, for yeah choosing colors and I don't know I don't know. Any other redheads out there that wear pink? I'll do it and I'll show you. And um, yeah, come spring, summer, um, we'll see whether I'm still wearing my pink stripy t-shirt or not. Uh, but I just, yeah, I couldn't resist it. And it did go to show that using that hashtag really worked because, um, yeah, I wouldn't have known about that fabric had Ruan not sent me a picture. So, thank you very much. I will be, because I'm away for a few days next week, I don't know whether there'll be a video next week or whether it will be the week after. I am planning to do a video about Fibre Mood. Um, lots of you said that you'd like to see that, so I will definitely be doing that. Um, but yeah, it's just about whether it's next week or the following one. So thank you very much. Please let me know if you have used any other sewing patterns from the Modern Sewer. Please let me know if you've got any suggestions for using that fabulous mid-century fabric. And yeah, tell me if you think I'm mad trying to wear pink. <laughs> All right, have a lovely weekend. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye-bye.